Hey guys, this is Mike from AdWork Media. Today I'll be doing a video on some beginner topics. Uh, traffic, I'll try to go more in depth into different types of traffic, and some of the general uh, general problems I see people running into starting off. So when people first start off, they typically ask me or send in a support ticket, like how to get started, how do I get started? Now I have a couple of videos already out there touching upon this in terms of how to set up a campaign, how to set up a landing page, and so on. But uh, I'll start talking more about the traffic side, because people understand how to, you know, how to get your link and how to get your offers, but they're not always quite sure on how to drive traffic. Now, the best thing, the best way I'd probably describe um, traffic is the people who think outside of the box and innovate are the ones who really prosper in this industry. Um, so, with that being said, I'll start going over some of the most common uh, traffic methods, and from here. You know, I'll expand out and talk about some of the least common ones. Um, one of the biggest ones is SEO. That stands for Search Engine Optimization. So that's pretty much, you know, when you type in a keyword into here, let's say, hmm, let's think of a good one. Uh, can't think on the spot. Let's see. Let's just say sneakers. So a lot of different sites are competing for the first place on the search result. So that's DSW, Finish Line, you know, Urban Outfitters, etc. Everyone wants to be on the first page because most people who search this, they're just kind of going to do a quick scroll, you know, see something that interests them on the first page. So the goal is to optimize your website to get to the first page and to get high search visibility. And once you have high search visibility, you're going to see some organic traffic um, coming in just from search results. So that's a big thing that a lot of people do. Uh, sometimes when a new app comes out, like Pokemon Go, uh, a friend of mine, um, he had one of the top sites for a lot of the big keywords related to Pokemon Go, and he was able to make thousands a day just from all the traffic. He threw up a couple offers on there. Um, his method was pretty much like a guide on how to get really good at Pokemon Go and how to, you know, really how to get ahead of it. And a lot, he was getting thousands of people a day on his offers. So that's just one example of SEO. Um, in order to do SEO, there's a lot of different tricks. It's very complicated, and you know, as it should be. If ever, if it was so easy, you could get number one, and in like no time, everyone would be doing it, and it wouldn't be as rewarding. It wouldn't bring in that money. So I definitely recommend joining some forums, learning more about it, taking some webinars and classes, and stuff like that really helps uh, refine your skills. The second is probably social media traffic. So it's big social media sites. Now let's click images and I'll go over the big ones. So here's active monthly users. Now what that means is that that's a lot of uh, a lot of daily users you can target. When you when people when sites have that many active active users, there's definitely uh, you know a percentage that you can try to target. So a lot of people let's go over Facebook. There's Paid options, which are you know using Facebook ads. Um, now, every let me let me uh, step back. For every one of these little topics I'm talking about, people could write books on them. So if if none of these things interest you, I recommend either getting books, googling it, learning material, going to YouTube and looking it up, because you know they're pretty advanced. And a lot of marketers starting off, they might get good at one or two of these. But it's important to network because the more friends you have that are doing this. You know, your friend might be really good at Facebook ads and maybe SEO, and you might be good at influencer marketing and something else, and it's good to collaborate and to really grow your connections. That's one of the biggest things in this uh, industry. It's networking and, and finding people who really synergize with you, and you can, you can work together on projects and make money together and prosper together. So uh, let me dive back into it. So there's Facebook ads, which you can pay Facebook um, in order to target some of its user base. And that, that seems to get a lot of um, success for some users. You have organic posting, so growing big accounts on Facebook and posting content out to them, posting your site, and so on. Um, let me think of, you can make groups, pages, things like that. You know, share it with friends and family. That's one way. Then you have YouTube, so you can buy YouTube ads, or you could post videos on YouTube and get exposure. Rank it, rank it for keywords in YouTube. So say if someone wants to search you know, sneakers and YouTube, and you were the first video, most people are going to click that. Then you have Google. So there's Google PPC, um, 
Google Google AdSense. Uh, you can buy traffic from Google, target certain keywords. Um, you could post on Google Plus and try to get people that way. You have SoundCloud. It's pretty much the same. It's re there's really a lot of overlapping things for each social media site. Twitter. Um, you can make a lot of accounts. Well, oh, another thing is making a lot of accounts. There's software out there. Um, I am unsure to the legality of it, so I can't recommend it, but I can say there are people out there that I know of, not necessarily on AdWork Media, to my knowledge, but there are people um, out there who grow hundreds and thousands of accounts on each platform and then post on all of them simultaneously with offers or, um, you know, pretty much just content in general. You see that a lot on Instagram. There's software like Follow Liker, where you can grow thousands of accounts and then, you know, grow them by following people. And then before you know it, you have like a hundred accounts with a couple thousand followers each. And then you have pretty much a, a huge, uh, a huge combined network that you can post offers to and run campaigns with. Um, so that being said, let me go back to Twitter. You can make a, make a normal account and grow it and then promote that way. You can buy Twitter ads either directly from Twitter or from other users. On Twitter, there's these things called impressions. You can, I think it's like the going rate is, uh, for about fifteen to twenty-two dollars, you can buy a hundred thousand impressions, which means like a hundred thousand people would have seen your content. So that's a really good price, but you got to find the right people in the community. Um, it's kind of hard to do, so you got to look for that. Uh, I'm not going to put a gun on that just because it's complicated. I don't want to promote the wrong people. So um, you know, if you want to do that, uh, just go searching. LinkedIn's a little bit different. I'm not sure how many people would complete offers. It's like a professional Facebook. But, you know, uh, if you're innovative enough, I'm sure there's a way. Instagram, I touched upon this before. So it's pretty much the same thing as Twitter. The only difference is you can buy shoutouts from other users. They're expensive, so you want to make sure you have a really optimized uh, landing page and a, a really optimized way of promoting an offer. For, because for you to get a return on uh, an influencer shoutout, you need to be making a lot of money, as they often charge quite a bit. Then you have Pinterest. Uh, Pinterest is actually pretty good from what I hear. Like the average p post you make on there converts to about 80 cents. So if you have, if you automate that, uh, that could be pretty good. Tumblr, you know, it's the same as Twitter and Instagram for the most part. And you can do some of the same methods I said earlier. So social media is huge. You know, everyone's using it daily. There's a lot of opportunity there. Um, a lot of people I know make, make their, really their, their main paycheck that way. Um, now let me think if there's anything else I, I haven't touched upon. Oh, yeah, then there's things like pop ads. The quality for this is mixed. We've seen a lot of reversals, but we've also seen some quality traffic. You know, you pay pretty much. You, like, put your link or your landing page, and you pay so much, you know, X amount of money for X amount of video, uh, visitors. There's zero park. And then there's things like, people who make their own ads or their own GPT sites where it's like people sign up and they earn money by completing offers um, and you get like you take a cut of it it's pretty much like another affiliate network but it's really really hard to be honest very few users can do this right because a lot of people will join these sites and just do a lot, bunch of fraud and the people who run them have no clue and then when the advertisers tell us that all the, all the leads were fraud, we have to revoke their payment or reverse it. We'll try to pay them out as much as possible, but only do this if you're really technologically um, advanced and you need to use like good, good anti-fraud measures. But yeah, I've seen a lot of people earn a lot of money if they can promote it correctly. Then there's people who make apps and run app, um, in exchange for this, like, like an in-game item. They can complete an offer. And then there's also people who do that for normal video games or like browser games or, or things like that. We'll see users um, add, uh, add some of our offers in game that users can complete in exchange for in game currency or something. Um, let me see if there's any other main traffic methods that I noticed. A lot of the time, it, there's a lot of methods that kind of fly under the radar, they're really unique. And that's kind of what makes a lot of people um, a good amount of money. And then there's also people who just take traditional methods like SEO. They get very good at it and they scale up. So then they're having like 50, they probably have like 10, 
10 to 50 websites fully SEO'd and they're making thousands of dollars a day. You, know, you probably don't even need 50. Even there's people who have 10 or 20 or even less and they're making that just from a couple of sites. It all depends on what keywords, what site, how you're doing it, and so on. Um, so yeah, I hope this video really helped in terms of giving people uh, you know, a, a decent game plan or a general idea of how to start with traffic. I think this will really help. Um, as far as other beginner questions, I see um, perhaps a difference between incentive and non-incentive. So non-incentive um, means you're not giving the user something or promising them something in exchange for doing this, uh, the offer. They're doing it just because they want to, not to get anything out of it. An incentive is like, okay, if you do this, you can win this, or if you do this, we'll give you a thousand pokey coins or something like that. You're giving them something. So that's the main difference. And please, please, please don't uh, mix those up. Because if you start promoting a non-incentive offer with incentive traffic, it's just not going to work well. And you're going to end up uh, probably not getting paid out for a majority of the leads you got. Because they just won't convert to the advertisers. Um, and they won't pay us out. So we, you know, we, we'll try to cover what we can. But please just promote um, as to the guidelines of each offer. And if you guys want to talk to me about any of this, you can add me on Skype at mike at adworkmedia.com. You can send me an email at that email, or you could, um, you know, send in a support ticket. And as always, our website is adworkmedia.com. You can sign up here and check out our other videos. I'm sure they will help you. Um, all right, guys. Happy earning, and thank you for your time.